Hi guys, today's a really quick video just showing you how to detect when a button's been pressed using a Raspberry Pi Pico in C code. When we did this video measuring the speed of sound using a Raspberry Pi Pico, we got this comment here. They were asking for a program where the Raspberry Pi Pico detects when a button's been pressed in C. So let's go and do that. Let's have a look at what we're making. This button here, you don't have to worry about it, it's just a reset button and all it does is connects the run pin to ground. We've done a video on the reset button if you're interested in it. This button is one we're really interested in. It's connected to power here and GPIO pin 16 here. Let's see what this is going to do once it's been programmed. I'm just going to press the boot cell button and then the reset button, then let go of the reset button and let go of the boot cell button. As you can see, it's popped up. Okay, so let's press OK and then let's drag our UF2 file. If you want to know how I got from the C code to the UF2 file, I've done a video on that. Link should be in the description. Lights off. Press the button, the light turns on, let go of it, the light turns off. Now let's look at the code. So you need to go to the code we made in GitHub, link should be in the description. Here we're just importing the pin stuff. Here we're just setting the button to GPIO pin 16. You don't need line 9 and 10. You do need 11 though. This sets the direction of that to be an input, not an output. We'll set it as a pull down, which will keep it low, 0, until we connect it to a positive rail. Here we're just initialising the LED. This is just an infinite loop. In the infinite loop, we get the status of the button pin. If it's not connected to the positive rail, it will be zero. If it is connected to the positive, it will be one. And we're getting not that. The exclamation mark means not, so we're getting the opposite. If it's not on, if a button isn't being pressed, because it's a pull down obviously, we'll set the GPIO output to be zero, the LED not to be on. Otherwise, we turn the light on. And then here, we're just sleeping for a bit. That's pretty much it. Just some simple code in C. I hope this video helped you. If it did, please give us a big thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Have a good day. Bye.